All right, guys, so this video is a week late, and I'm just gonna lay it all out. This is gonna be uh, my diary, basically, of my weight loss. Now, before I get started, you might hear some weird noises because I'm at my friend Nicole and Kayla's house, and their cat just found his one of his favorite toys, which is a piece of string, really, a um, piece of felt, whatever. So he gets these really deep meows. So if you hear that in the background, just laugh about it. So anyway, it's just me today. Carrie is at home. And I just want to talk to you guys about my weight loss journey and let you know where I am and basically explain to you the philosophy, philosophy behind day one. So this is my day one. So what does day one mean? Day one means that I'm starting again today. I'm starting again right now. As I make this video, this is my day one. So how did I get back to day one? Well, I don't know, because I, I, I get going and I'm so good with everything and I'm watching what I'm eating and I'm being cognizant of how many steps I take via my watch, but something happens that, you know, I'll, I'll be feeling under the weather one day or I'll have too much work to do one day and I won't feel like cooking and I'll order pizza or something or I'll go get some, I don't really eat fast food, but I'll just go get something that's not as healthy as it would have been if I had cooked at home. So I have this philosophy that I would rather have a million day ones than not have any at all. So today is my day one. Now before, uh, I know a lot of you have been following my progress. I started uh, this weight loss journey probably, I would say around four months ago, um, maybe five, when I found out that we were going to start trying to have our first child. Uh, Carrie and I are now in our, I believe it's going to be our 23rd week right now. So we're way over the halfway point. And like I said, things kind of happen. Things kind of get in the way. But the important thing is, is that I'm not giving up. So anyway, back when I started this journey, my highest weight was 393 pounds. Now, why am I telling you that? Why am I being vulnerable? Because you can look at someone and you can kind of have an idea of how much they weigh. And they don't need to say it. But maybe you're thinking it. Maybe you're thinking you're looking at them and you know how much you weigh. And you're wondering if they know how much you weigh. You wouldn't believe the kind of power it gives you when you talk about your highest weight. When you say to yourself, wow, I let myself go and I got up to 393 pounds. Now I know it may not look that because the camera certain angles takes away even though there's the myth that the camera adds weight to it but there are certain angles the way that you can hold the camera that someone looking at me now you probably wouldn't think that I weighed over 300 pounds but I do now do I weigh 393 no right now I'm down to 361 so I have done an incredible amount of work in the past couple of months to get here but I have regressed in uh, during a few of those months i i have gone back i've gone back to my old habits you know grabbing a quick snack that might not be the best snack having a milkshake throughout the day and then having another one in the week i mean i've never started this to be a diet but you have to be cognizant of foods that you're eating and know that certain foods aren't as good for you to eat as others so i don't like to have you know more than one soda um, you know, three times a week. That's kind of a lot. Do I do it sometimes? Yeah. Do I have more than one a day? There have been days that I have, and that's a day where I can either kick myself and just go eat a bunch of ice cream and eat my sorrow away, or I can start fresh in the morning and say, okay, today's day one. I got to watch what I'm eating. I got to get my water intake in. I'm going to try not to eat a couple hours before I go to bed, because if I do that, I'm just going to lay there and you know, not get any exercise. So the point of all this is, the point of me being so open and honest with you is because I think it's important for myself to do that. I think it's important for me to be able to say to you that when I initially started this journey, I weighed 393 pounds. Now it's not necessary, but I want this to be a safe place. You know, we have a lot of people who monitor our channels and things like that. And if you're comfortable and you want to talk to other people, this is a place where you can talk to people. If you want to write down below how much you weigh and what you're doing, write it. Say it out loud to a friend. Say it out loud to yourself in a mirror. 
You know, let's have conversations about this. Now, there's a group that I belong to. Uh, one of our campers started the group. It's called Eileen's Accountability Squad. And I will put the link um, or write out the title uh, tomorrow or maybe I can somehow add it into this video. This is a closed group that we go and we talk about things. It's on Facebook, so you have to have a Facebook account to join. But we post pictures, um, you know, people cheer you on, you hear their stories, sometimes there's uh, recipes. Uh, I believe there's over 100 members right now. Most of the members have been or are affiliated with the Tiff and Carry channel. But sometimes people have friends who want to you know, jump on the, the weight loss bandwagon as well. But the point I'm getting across is if you're not comfortable writing it down below where anyone could see it, anyone who stumbles across this uh, YouTube page, you can go to Eileen's Accountability Squad on YouTube and it's a space where whatever you write, it's only gonna be seen by those group members. The point that I'm getting across to you is that what works for me might not work for you, but what works for me is talking about it, making that conscious decision that it's time to lose weight. You know, I want to be able to catch my child if, if he somehow runs outside, you know, or, or I let's go in my hand when we're walking through the grocery store or through the mall or something like that. I know that right now in the state that I am, even weighing 361 pounds currently, I couldn't catch him. I wouldn't be able to catch him if he started running because he's a child and compared to a child, and I'm not making fun of myself, but I am an ogre. You know, I'm not gonna be able to pick up my legs and start taking off. And I don't even wanna think about the ramifications that could happen. Now, why else am I doing this? Well, because there's a lot of health problems that, you know, are, uh, you know, correlated to uh, being overweight. I recently went to the eye doctor and the eye doctor checked the elasticity in my eyes. He started doing this weird test here and he showed me there's new evidence, he showed me in uh, several actually publications, that there's evidence to suggest that people who have uh, poor elasticity in their eyes also have poor elasticity in their throats, which is a sign of sleep apnea. Now I don't have any other signs of sleep apnea. You know, even though I'm overweight, I still get a full night's sleep. I feel rested. I'm not exhausted throughout the day. Sure, I love taking a nap here and there, but who doesn't? But I'm not so tired that I have to close my eyes and go to sleep. I don't have any of these other issues, you know, associated with it. But even just that one, it makes me realize, okay, well, I should go get checked out. And, I mean, obviously there's heart disease, diabetes. I could go on and on. So that's the other one. And the last one is basically, I don't want to die. You know, I I don't want to die overweight. I don't want to have a heart attack. I don't want to have some medical condition. I don't want to be out of breath when I'm walking up the stairs. You know, here at uh, Kayla and Nicole's house where I am, at, they have a really nice house with a really nice set of stairs. And by the time I get up to the top of the stairs, because my body's not used to walking up all those stairs, I'm out of breath for a minute. I mean, sure, I can do it, and I can get up there, and it's great, but I'm still out of breath. So this journey is going to be long. This journey is going to be hard, but I'm not going to give up. I'm going to keep pushing through. I'm going to do my best. I'm going to try and have as few day ones as possible, but the point that I want to make is if I have 10 day ones, I don't care. At least I'm still trying. Now, I may not have all the answers. I'm not incorporating a lot of exercise in yet due to my rigorous schedule with uh, a lot of the driving and not staying at home and having a lot of assignments due. It's kind of hard to find the time to exercise. But little things that I've done uh, are parking at entrances that I know have stairs. Uh, one of the buildings that I go to for school, it's kind of on a hill. So if I were to park over here, I could walk in on the floor but if I park down over here, I gotta walk up two flights of stairs. So I do that. I try to take the stairs. And I've been doing that now for the past like eight Wednesdays. And I feel really good um, taking these stairs. And I haven't been looking for a parking spot like in the front of, you know, the building. So that way I can walk a little bit farther. 
these are just little things that I'm doing in order, and and I know, like I said, I'm I'm not sitting here trying to pretend to be some expert when it comes to exercise, but I know that these little changes are better than not doing them at all. So I know this was kind of an, just an update, more of an accountability post to get you started. Next week, I'm going to talk about food changes that I've made, and the week after that, as it progresses, I'll talk about other things. But if you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below. Let me know where you're started, where you're at, how things are going for you, different recipes, and let's just recognize that this is a lot harder to do by ourselves, and maybe leaning on somebody isn't so bad. But anyway, that's about it. Carrie's not here, so I'll have to do the closure. But uh, I want to appreciate, or I want to thank you guys for watching. And I appreciate everything that, you know, you guys do for us and do for our family. And we'll catch you on the flippity.